What's up people, my name is the Dutch person and today we are going to build the most ballless PC ever in PC building simulator. Hey guys, what's up, it's that Dutch person here. I know the audio is shit, I accidentally only recorded on the audio of my Logitech webcam. So the audio might be shitty, but uh, trust me, this was purely by accident and I couldn't be bothered to like lip sync the entire thing again. So I hope you still enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Let's go right into it, shall we? Uh, I've got my nice little workshop here, and we're gonna create a nice PC. So I'm an IT guy. I built I built my PC myself. So first you gotta pick a case. The Antec P8. That doesn't sound really interesting to me. Yes, we have a side pad. Maybe all glass. Ooh, let's go for a white build. We're going for a white build. And no, I'm not a racist. All right. So what do we have here? So we already have a couple of fans installed in the front. I see. Okay. First we gotta take the problem off. There we go. Then we take the filter off. There we go. I'm first just gonna remove all these side panels because I'm gonna need to like basically work everywhere. Oh wait, that was it? Oh nice, it was fast. Alright, so um uh, I don't want to be quiet in here. So I'm gonna remove the be quiet fan. Oh damn, this thing is fully modular! Oh I didn't realize that! Well, I, I I take this one out, I don't want that here. This case is pretty big. Alright, so first we're gonna start off with a motherboard, of course. Our PC needs a motherboard. So I'm thinking that we should go with Threadripper. So we do TR4. We got a couple of Threadripper options. TR4 is the uh, Threadripper socket for our motherboard. Uh, we have an X399 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. RAM types DDR4. Shut up, Siri. I'm gonna DDR4. It's S80X, so that's a little bit bigger than, than, than normal ATX motherboards. Alright, so installation. Always put in the standards for some cases, have them already pre-installed. A lot of them don't. So always do that first. There we go. Now you just screw it in place. Now this is not very accurate because, well, I'm, I'm literally using PCB, but that doesn't matter. Next up is the, uh, the processor. We're gonna pull the processor in here. Now we are going with Threadripper. Threadripper is expensive. Like, make no mistake. Threadripper is expensive. If we go here, I don't only want the ones that can fit this PC. Now we have 8 cores, 12 cores, 16 cores. No, thank you. 32 cores. We're going with 32 cores. There we go. Bam. And then we close the retention arm. And the CPU is in place. That's basically how you do it. It's not that difficult, guys. Uh, there's like a little triangle or, or an arrow on the CPU and the socket. Make sure those are aligned, otherwise you're, you're gonna have a bad time. So next up, we need thermal paste. Because we need to cool this thing. Normally on a Threadripper you put like an axe, like an envelope. This is not enough normally, but it's, it's good enough for the game, so it's good enough for me. Next up, we're gonna go for a power supply. Now I want a very beefy one, so I want 1600 watts from Corsair, so we're gonna put, put that in right here, there we go, shut, there we go, no, we're gonna put in the cooler for the, uh, for the uh, CPU, otherwise we might not be able to get the RAM in, so we have a Threadripper, Threadripper is very, very hungry for, it's, 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 it's using a lot of heat, it's 150cm, that's all, and I, and I, Okay, no way that this is compatible. No way. This this is not possible. No, this is not possible. This yeah, this was not good. We're gonna put it right here. Bam. Sucks in and sucks out. Yeah, that looks all. That looks all. Memory. I want fast memory. No, I want like. Uh, Ryzen likes fast RAM, but I think the next one for this board was uh, 3600, so we're gonna go with 3600. And of course, white. Yeah, the build problem pretty much lost its, its white as a Yeah, you know, you know what that I mean. Uh, let's just do it. There we go. And I six. 8 gigs only! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and it's only 8 gigs, are you serious? I want, I want, I want more. I want something bigger. I don't want eight gigs. I don't want... So this means this is 
We're going to uh, own. We're going to own. We are only going to have 64 gigs of memory, right? But that, that doesn't, that's not even enough to play Minecraft. Come on. I don't. I don't. I, I want. 256 gigabytes of RAM. The graphics card? Haha, <laughs> kidding, no. For an NVMe SSD as storage unit, so we go NVMe, there we go. And we are going for, let's see, this one has data drive for files and such and homework. And yeah, you don't need this one, big one, because the gaming has more priority than the Case fans, very important, airflow and stuff. So what do you want? Uh, lightning loot. These buggers. They shoot fit behind each other, on top of each other, if I'm correct. I'm gonna go with uh, thermal take. Yeah, thermal take. There we go. And bam. I'm gonna move this one because I don't get lightning loot, so I don't want it. Okay, we're gonna go down again. Take the thermal take again. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And we move down again. Here we go. And take another thermal take. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Uh, one more back as well, please. I don't want my sister to overheat. To overheat. There we go. And I push on top of the wall. Push on top of the wall. Oh, I can't miss this. this, 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 this. How can I do that? Case is a bit bugged, but I don't care. Fence next, there we go. Sometimes it's better to put the fence in first because of how much clearance you might not get. Like you need a lot of clearance to put in the fence. Oh screw that fence. And you too, and then you and then you as well, thank you. Foundation. Ram it in there. And take another foundation edition. Yes, thank you. We can run. Alright, so it looks like we're going to just have one GPU. Which is this board clearly says it supports SLI. What's this kind of bullshit? Okay, uh, I'm gonna put that storage back in. Okay. Uh, so, updates. Uh, can't have uh, SLI. So that sucks. But on the other hand, we can still. We're pretty much gonna have a really boring PC. I wonder how much this PC costs. I like. I'm, I'm gonna search up the parts list and I'm gonna check out how much the PC costs. All right. So now this isn't finished yet. It has cables. It needs to be cable managed. We're gonna go with white cables. There we go. There we go. This looks actually kind of ball. Okay. You know what? We're gonna close the thing up. Two, one. Okay. Problem has been detected and Omega system shut down to prevent damage to your computer. Clock watchdog timeout. Hang on, I'm gonna Google what that is. Alright, so we might have to change the uh I'm gonna have to change the power supply probably. I took like like what kind do I have in here? 1600 watt, that's enough! I can fix this, but unfortunately we are out of time. Now I'm an IT guy, so I'm actually gonna try my best to fix this. And we're gonna do that in the next episode. You know, if you like this video, leave a like if you did. If you didn't like the video, then what else to do? And I hope I'll see you guys next time. I actually enjoyed this game very much. Uh, if I can bring some IT knowledge from my brain to, to your to your ears and then your your brain, so you can learn and get a big brain, and I will be very delighted to teach you some IT stuff with PC Building Simulator. It's totally accurate, but I can correct all that. I'm going to fix this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.